Yes, um, in my talk, um, I uh, delved into the issue of how the um, circulation of the occipital lobe accounts for the patterns of visual field loss that one encounters in patients. The most uh, common cause of homonymous hemianopia is embolic infarction of the occipital lobe. In my laboratory, we've worked out how the microvasculature to the occipital lobe is organized. And by doing so, we've stumbled upon the logic of uh, cortical visual field defects, why certain patterns of cortical visual field loss are commonly encountered in patients, and while other patterns of visual field loss are almost never seen. Um, so we've been able to provide an explanation for um, these clinical phenomena, uh, uniting our studies of the anatomy of the occipital lobe with uh, clinical experience in patients. The process of understanding how cortical uh, visual uh, function allows us to see is, uh, is a project that's occupied over a hundred years and uh, I feel gratified to be part of it. We all understand that the eyes are simply uh, cameras that uh, transduce and uh, compress visual information for the brain to then interpret and guide our behavior. And uh, understanding how the brain does this is one of the great scientific challenges of mankind. And I've enjoyed playing a small part in that advance. I would. My feeling uh, is to the young ophthalmologists attending this meeting, get involved in research. Um, get involved in research because there's nothing more exciting than exploring new ideas and contributing to the advance of ophthalmological science. So, Take a few years, get involved in, in a lab or a research project, and maybe it'll lead you to a career that combines clinical work with research. Uh, perhaps you may later decide to follow a path that's purely clinical, but those years that you spent investigating and asking questions will forever shape the way you approach care of your patients.